Hey Arlington Knights, Adam Harris here, your head of communications and storytelling. I'm with Haven, say hi. Hi. I'm with Ryan, say hi. Hi. We're at Thomas Middle School. They just got done reading this book called Ground Zero and they're obsessed with it. Um, it's a story about present day and the effects of 9-11 in Afghanistan. And then also um, it switches back and forth with what it was like in the moment in the buildings told through the story of a, an American child. So um, Ryan, and I'm asking Haven this, as well, what did you learn from it, reading about 9-11 and the experience in Afghanistan present day and then back then? What did you learn about it? Uh, I learned that you really, like, you you could, like, stand up for yourself and, like, if you're really, if, if you don't do something at the moment, then you might be able, not be able to do it ever again. What did you learn? Um, I learned that um, it's okay to, like, take the impact of something really big happening like um you don't have to you know kind of block it out like it's okay to feel feelings um and it's okay to ask for help i love that it's okay to feel feelings and it's okay to be brave and stand up for what you believe in those are amazing lessons um do you look at 9 11 differently now after reading this book Okay, how so? Uh, like, I feel like it's more more of just, like, something that you compare it to. Like, you shouldn't just say, like, 9-11, like, compared to coronavirus, like, has more uh, deaths than 9-11, like, every single day. I think you should look at it just by itself and uh, respect all the people that we lost then. I like that. Look at it by itself. Respect all the people that we lost. Haven, what about you? What did you, what'd you learn? Well, how do you think of 9-11 differently? Um, I think... Um, I think it's just a lot more memorable now. Like, it's not like some historic event that, like, you know, we should still, like, feel sad for and stuff. But now it just feels more know like real like it doesn't feel like something that happened like a long time ago it feels like something that happened like current like recently you know like it doesn't s s sound anything like um like ancient history anymore it sounds like something that could like really impact today that's great Haven. And, and and when were you born um 2010 yeah okay so and, and when were you born 2010. right so um 9 11 happened nine years before you were born um, so I can understand how that would feel like ancient history. I was your age when it happened. So, um, yeah, like I, I love that it, it brought it to reality for you. Um, that's really cool. Okay, yeah, do you have anything else you want to say? Uh, just that it was a really good book. Yeah, I think it would be, it's good for like all ages, I think. Like, I maybe think... not like, you know, kindergartners though. You know, more so like um, third and uh, yeah, like fourth graders, fifth graders, and then like all throughout middle school, maybe like ninth grade too. I guess it's such an amazing story. Cool. I I I think that like it's kind of like a movie, pretty much. It's, yeah, it feels like it yeah. would be like a great production, sort of. Like mm -hmm. it's just that good. Okay, well then I hope for your sake and for my sake it gets made into a movie, and I think I need to pick up that book. Okay. Thank you both for your time, for your reflections. It was great. Yeah. Um, now we just say goodbye. Bye. Bye.